Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, getting ready to ship some birds out, and I thought I'd uh, talk about shipping real quick. So, the boxes you see before you are made by a company called Horizon. There's their contact information right there. They are U.S. Post Office approved, as it states right there. And they are required to have... this film over the air holes what that is it is a biosecurity filter um, I honestly don't know what kind of material it is but it's a breathable material um, some folks will ship without that you're not supposed to some folks will cut holes in it to allow for more heat to escape again you're not really supposed to um, that's why you don't ship when it's hot out. But I've also heard of an instance where a postal employee did puncture one of these through, and I don't know if it was an accident with a machine or they were trying to poke their nose in there and see what they could see or what the deal is, but they ended up um, injuring a bird. But that's the only time I've heard of that. So don't think that that's... All I'm saying is things can and do happen sometimes that you can't control. Now, these are individual boxes. They're made for a single large fowl bird or a pair of bantams. If you put the bantams in there or two young birds, I do recommend getting a piece of cardboard and making a Z shape in here so that you can tape it to the side have a divider tape it to the side that way the birds don't get on top of each other now i'm going to be putting bedding in here pine shavings not a whole lot but uh, just enough to kind of help with uh, you know waste and give the bird something soft and it also helps um, you know with moisture and that kind of thing the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a half of an apple in each one so that the bird has some form of nutrition during transit. These boxes are shipped Priority Express, so if you ship them out on Monday, they should get there by Wednesday at the latest. Now, I'm shipping two birds to the same location, so I've got two of these boxes taped together. From what I remember, in the past, you were able to tape four of these together maximum and that's because horizon actually makes a cardboard four stall box i've bought them in the past but i wasn't using them enough to really warrant the price tag so i went back to using the single stall and there's other companies that manufacture boxes as well but um the bottoms i tape them i tape the boxes together if I'm shipping multiple birds with multiple boxes, I number them so that if they get separated, they know to look for another box. And I put, and this is the important part, I put the address and phone number of the person they're shipping to on the outside here. I'm not going to show you because it's already got the address written on it, but right up here is where I put it. Okay. And I do it on both boxes, again, in case they get separated. Um, your shipping information, the actual post office label is going to go down here. And when I'm taping multiple boxes together, um, I try to have this side facing on the other side. So all boxes are printed identical. But that way you've got your appropriate labeling on both sides. And to, bo to box them up... I don't know if I'll be able to do this uh, with one hand here since I'm holding the camera, but basically you fold these in like this, put this tab down, you push this in, in this direction, and then you bring these two ends over top. And then this tab will go in this slot here and there's a plastic handle that goes through here. These holes are for zip ties to help keep the corners tied. Okay, now the ones I had in the past, they had a little 
cardboard door on one end and you'd pop it down and you could see in there and there was a little plastic window. This model doesn't have it. I don't know if they um, discontinued them or, you know, personally I never saw a whole lot of um, use for it. You know, I mean, you're shipping birds and the less you have people looking at them and poking around at them, the less stressed they're going to be. That's my two cents. But anyhow, uh, what happens is you'll want to call your post office, let them know that you're shipping birds out, and um, try to find out when the mail truck's going to arrive for the transit. Because at my old post office, the truck would arrive around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'd bring my birds in about 3.30. This new post office I've got, I take my birds in about 11 o'clock because they close up at noon. So the idea is to keep the birds in the box for as short a period as time as possible. And the reason you want the phone number of your customer on the box clearly written with call on arrival is because technically they are not supposed to take these boxes on the mail route with them. They are to call you when they arrive at the post office and then you are supposed to go in there and pick them up. And if something smells funny or you don't hear anything, you know, it's a good idea to look in the box before you leave the post office so that if there is a dead bird, you know, you can file a claim get documentation, that kind of thing. But, other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot else to say about it. Um, some people will mail, when they mail them, they'll, they'll do all the labeling and everything on the post office's website, print it out on their printer, and then just take the birds in and they've already paid for it and they just got to get them in the mail. Um, what I usually do is I'll weigh the birds in the boxes, call the post office with the zip code, which is why I ask people to send me their zip code, and then they tell me what it's going to cost to ship them, and then I can let people know. Um, if we're in a hurry, you know, I might estimate the cost of shipping, and if it ends up being higher, and I, you know, sometimes I've done this, people will say, tell you what, Let's just call it 75 for shipping in boxes, and if it ends up being less than that, I'll refund you the difference. If it's more than that, I'll just eat the difference, because it's usually not that far off. Um, the only other thing I can really say is make sure you check into where you're shipping them. Uh, as I've said in a couple of my recent videos, there is shipping bans in Southern California right now, in and out in certain areas. Um, some states won't let you ship birds in without uh, sending blood papers to their state vet first or being NPIP certified or that kind of thing. So just kind of do your homework before you send them. So, And the other thing I guess I'll wrap up with is when you do send them, um, make sure the people you're sending to are going to be home the week that they're going to arrive. And when you send them out, send the tracking number to your customer so that they can keep track on them. Typically, when I track them, it shows when they left and when they get into the major area of where they're going. They don't really scan it and update it all the way like you would expect. So, anyhow, if you got questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.